Every day, 1,500 tons of trash pile up at the San Francisco city dump. And every day, that trash attracts scavengers. Thousands of seagulls flock to the heap, looking for food. To keep them away, Steve Vasconcelos uses trained hawks and falcons. They frighten the scavenger birds without harming them. Since uh, seagulls are prey species and predators themselves, they understand if there's a hawk present that there's a clear and imminent danger. Gulls might be unwanted here, but there's another kind of scavenger that's quite welcome at the dump, artists. They wade through huge mounds of unwanted belongings dropped off by city residents, looking for materials and inspiration. I mean, I guess I've been really surprised by how many materials I find that are just brand new, and I kind of wrestle with, well, why has this been thrown away? This is perfectly good. That's exactly why Joe Hansen, the late Bay Area artist, conceived of the Dumps Artists in Residence program 20 years ago. She wanted an innovative way to teach people about recycling and conservation. Since 1990, more than 80 artists have completed the residency with Recology, the city's solid waste provider. To qualify, you must be a professional artist and a Bay Area resident. A lot of my work is about producing a sort of new thing, a new understanding of a material, but it's often that new understanding is really about sort of redirecting our attention to the things that exist around us all the time. For the artists, seeing things in a new way is essential to the creative process. I found a lot of envelopes and stationery and books that I've ground up and made into paper um, using window screens that I found in the dump. Britton usually works with paper, using the patterns found in maps as inspiration for her pieces. But since starting the residency, she says she embraces different materials. This is a work in progress. It's um, made using plastic sheeting that I found in the public disposal area. And this tape, I believe, is used in heating duct work. Schultz is mainly using wood in his work. He says rummaging through the piles of stuff makes him feel small, almost like a child again. I was particularly drawn to the amount of salvageable lumber that was coming in on a really daily basis. And I was ultimately also really struck by the amount of toys that are thrown away. So combining that with wood and sort of the durability of wooden toys have kind of been making structures out of wood that are much more playful than work I've made in the past. The dump even boasts its own sculpture garden, where works of former artists are exhibited. There's also an area where some of the quirkier items people have dumped off are displayed. With hawks chasing seagulls overhead, and artists knee-deep in trash, this place is anything but ordinary. Erica Brecky for On Earth Magazine.